Welcome to Cooking Companion TV and this recipe demo of turnip puree with leeks from the new Vegetarian Cooking for Everyone by Deborah Madison. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. We'll start with a russet potato and peeling and chopping it into about half inch chunks. Russet potatoes are best for this type of recipe because they have a lot of starch, which gives a creamy element to the overall dish, however you're using it. And we'll break down the turnips next. We need about two pounds of turnips for this, and they have to be peeled with a knife. The skin is too thick for a vegetable peeler. So find your system for cutting off the skin easiest and get to it. You have to cut deep enough that you see the veiny part of the flesh. And we'll also dice these into the same size we chopped the potato. Now in the US, we have several types of turnips, and these are the ones that you can find loose in the grocery store. I prefer the smaller varieties that come out in the spring because they don't have to be peeled at all, and they can be cooked with their greens. And one of my favorite ways to eat turnips and their greens is simply roasted with olive oil, salt, and pepper. And then we need to chop the leeks and just the white parts. Now the quickest way to prep a leek is to cut off the dark green part, then remove the root, and then slice the stalk down the middle, and then we can just peel off the outer layer to easily wash the inner layers. Now since my white parts are very short, I'm using a little of the light green part too. And finally, we need to thinly slice a clove of garlic. We'll place all of this in a pot and cover it with cold water. Add salt, of course, and bring it to a simmer, partially covered until it's all tender, about 15 to 20 minutes. Then drain the pot and reserve the liquid or at least two tablespoons of it. Now we'll mash the tender vegetables with a fork for a rough textured puree, or you can pass them through a food mill. Now, if anyone owns a food mill, please comment below. I can't imagine many people owning one of these these days, or rather, I can't imagine anyone using it often. So I started mashing all of this together with the reserved liquid in the bottom of the bowl. You can do that or mash the vegetables first and then add the reserved liquid to thin it out. You can also use cream or buttermilk. Now we will stir in some butter and chop thyme, although if you want to make this vegan, I expect some fruity or really grassy olive oil would do really well here with a lot of black pepper and maybe even a dash of nutmeg. I don't know, if you make it, let me know what you think of adding nutmeg. And that's it. There are some variations like adding Gruyere cheese or creme fraiche or sour cream or simmering the vegetables in milk instead of water. I do feel my dish needs something like Gruyere, but I also suspect I used more turnips than I needed to. I think really buttery uh, German butterball potatoes could do well here because they have that natural butter flavor. And we served this with a pan roasted sole fish filet and it was wonderfully clean. So give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to this channel for more demos just like this. I'm Jenna Edwards and thanks for watching.